And finally in sport tonight, Australia has medaled at every single Olympics softball tournament ever held. But the sport languished after being struck off the Olympic program from 2008. Now, as it returns in Tokyo 2020, veteran Stacey Porter wants to help earn Australia an elusive gold and do her late father proud. It's the stuff of dreams. This famous victory over powerhouse the USA at the Sydney Olympics. Tears and sweat that would help Australia eventually win bronze. Stacey Porter was there four years later when they won silver in Athens and bronze again in Beijing. She says it could have been the beginning of a dynasty building towards gold. But then the Olympic hopes of an entire sport were dashed as softball was excluded from the Olympic program after 2008. It's a 12-year period. It's not easy to stick around for that long. Um, you know, I grew up playing softball and wanting to go to Olympic Games. Um, so that's what I knew. I grew up with an Olympic dream. But now a third Games beckons for Porter. A proud Kamilaroi woman from Tamworth, she was the first Indigenous Olympic softballer. Now part of the team that's qualified for Tokyo. Now the sport has been readmitted. And there's myself and another girl within the squad now that's been to an Olympics. So I'm hoping to obviously, you would hope that that sort of experience can can pass that on to the other girls. Australia will face hosts Japan, Italy, Mexico, Canada and reigning world champions, the USA. The US is ranked one, uh, Japan two, Canada's right behind them. It's going to be very tough and we got to prepare for every game like it's sudden death. With no guarantee softball will feature at the Paris Olympics in 2024, Tokyo could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Porter's mother and sister will be there as she takes the field. Sadly, they'll be without her father, who passed away a few years back. Indigenous people feel a lot of spirit and Dad was uh, the Indigenous one in our family. Um, so, no doubt. He'll be there, um, and a gold one I think would be really, really special. Darren Mara, SBS World News. I'm sure Dad's watching over you, Stacey. Great story. Yeah, emotional end to that story.